Welcome back, Baywolf Nation. It's on Baywolf. Hey, back with another YouTube video. I think it's been like five weeks since I uploaded a YouTube video. I've been very busy. Uh, new, new career opportunities that I never thought could be something I would ever want to do. That's uh, very high paying job and high demand. So I've been busy getting ready for uh, all that and just, just. Not having a lot of free time, basically. So, um, it's nice to get back at it with another YouTube video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. I'm going to try getting it more videos up. Uh, this video is kind of off the cuff. Not really planned, but it is something to help you guys out. But first, check out the Amazon store. Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Baywolf. And the I am Baywolf merch at BaywolfNation.com. And then the free $25 with Crypto.com. When you spend $150 on there, you get free $25. And it's a very smart investment, but I'm not giving financial advice. But hey, we'll get in the video why you should be. So if you're not really aware, if you see my last video, I talked about this uh, U.S. Navy PA Poseidon. Uh, the plane's purpose is to hunt and destroy, hunt, detect, and destroy submarines. Well, this new hobby of mine has been tracking planes. And since that video, I've actually done more research. I have, like, registration numbers on all these military planes now. I've really taken this into uh, a next level. And with... Everything with the war in Ukraine, I was doing this all way before then, because if you look at when I did that video, and I am like pretty much been on TikTok and, and on posting on Instagram, and just what I've been seeing, what I know, what kind of idea, what's going on, and for seeing kind of where we're at right now today. Um, you won't find it if you Google it. Uh, but there is two Russian subs off the East Coast. And uh, since then, like today, I posted TikTok. There were five Poseidons. And I think there's only 135 of these planes worldwide. And uh, five of them were all in Florida searching all over. And, and the day before that, I think it was the day or two before that, they were in the Bahamas. And uh, and then all of a sudden I got to be, besides tracking military aircraft as a hobby now, I uh, can find uh, U.S. Navy aircraft carriers too now, too, which is like, it blows my mind because basically I have this app to detect for tracking uh, O-Search. They tag great white sharks because I always want to know where they're at. So I got this marine app where I've been tracking that is why. And then I'm like, one day I'm looking and there's... Uh, I've seen it before because I've been in an aircraft carrier before. They have this Greyhound plane, and it's a small plane. It goes off to get mail and supplies and stuff. And one day I'm tracking with registration numbers. Um, I start seeing Greyhounds leaving out of Virginia at this one port. And some were coming to Myrtle Beach. And then all of a sudden, I'm like thinking to myself, well, there has to be aircraft carriers there. Why is this going on like that? Because there's an airfield right next to this this main hub where there's US Navy uh, ships. And then one day they're out in sea and I see these Greyhounds both take off at once. And I'm like, go on my Marine app and then found the transponders were on for these U two US Navy aircraft carriers. And the crazy thing is one was out at sea and then went back into port and it's in port as we speak. And then the other one started heading down to Florida. And then it turned back and it's heading back up to Virginia. Now, uh, I'm not going to claim I'm some military expert or anything, but uh, usually I think of an aircraft carrier, they go off and they're off at another coastline, country we don't get along with, or just deployment to get planes up in the air. What I'm thinking what's going on is, you know, there has to be these subs, and the subs are only here for one purpose. And uh, you guys can go figure what that could be with what Putin said he is planning to do to anybody who doesn't get along with him. So, uh, let's get the story going, but uh, basically, there's something hot going on with that. Um, there's been like Global Hawks taking off a, a subscriber 
if it's true or not, I looked up his profile. He said he's a uh, works on drones and uh, U.S. Air Force aircraft in Italy. And uh, I looked up his Instagram when he said this to me, and it, you know, it looks like he's a U.S. citizen there. Some of his photos look like he's legit. I'm one to not believe everything really quick until you get a little bit of proof. And um, we started, I kept thinking there was an aircraft carrier off the coast of Italy. He claimed there wasn't, and then he started seeing this Greyhound rotating out off the sea and ocean. Boom, found another aircraft carrier. So it's a... Uh, <laughs> It's pretty crazy. So I've basically been posting TikToks with kind of what's all going on. Now you haven't seen the stuff that was going on in Canada. People not getting along and then, you know, they shut down the bank accounts for people, basically telling how much money could be going out. You see going on with Ukraine and Russia. Obviously Ukraine is being invaded. It is super sad. The stuff I'm posting, uh, not everything is like on that actually my post it's all in the stories because there's so much and it's kind of graphic stuff too so uh that kind of stuff is not going on youtube because it's 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 definitely some intense intense activities going on there um some stuff i post where it's permanently on there but otherwise it's in the story so if you're not following me on instagram i am underscore baywolf and yeah, i'm basically <laughs> overloading with anything i'm finding about ukraine going on there and uh keeping people notified uh, there's people of the that I follow um, that live in Ukraine and you know giving them info and you know just basically keeping everything going on but there's a whole bunch of parts of this is pre-seen of how World War three could be happening now with the sanctions that the US government did to Russia um, there I think it's called a Ruby Ruben Ruby I'm, I'm again I'm not using Russian money so whatever with their it dropped like way down to where their their equivalent to a dollar is worth nothing and they couldn't get any money out of the bank uh with stuff in Russia they can't use their like I think they'd be equivalent considered calling a debit card anything the money in your bank cannot be used and I've been seeing these videos where I'm like kind of showing you guys some insight and some people rather see jet ski videos instead of being financially ahead with about cryptocurrencies or some uh, past video I did uh, that you could make a lot of money if you invested listening to in the video and see what I'm saying but you know hey if you don't want to learn stuff from me God, it's your loss not mine but I figured to put this video out with people seeing with this um, now you've seen Different governments trying to ban cryptocurrency, like Russia said they were banning all cryptocurrency. And then all of a sudden, all these people panicked, sold. And then uh, a week or two later, you know, I think it was like basically like less than a week before they invaded Ukraine. They're like, oh, we, we're pro, pro cryptocurrency. And during that time when they spooked everybody, people panicked selling, which you should never do. Uh, Russia was buying a bunch of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and whatnot. So they did a potential dip to financially get themselves ahead. And if you've seen with the sanctions that's going on, you can see why they were doing that. Now, there was this post that I, uh, let me find this thing. It's a post from somebody from Ukraine. So just to give you guys a little idea. Um, so this, I think, was posted on um, uh, Twitter. I'll leave the username. Well, I mean, I'll post it, whatnot. I just found this on TikTok, and I found this very interesting. There's a little TikTok about it. It says, my Ukrainian credit cards don't work anymore. So this is not talking debit cards. We're talking credit cards. I'm safe physically in Kazakhstan, but all my savings are gone, meaning the money he's had in the bank. Crypto is the only money I still have. And today, I can say without exergation that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and NFT, meaning NFTs, digital art, if you're not familiar with that, I might do a little videos with that. There's some really cool uh, NFTs I have that are, it's unbelievable the authors people are giving me to those. And it says persons that NFTs are going to save my life while I can't come back home. 
And this is not just one person like this. You know, the person, anybody in the country of Ukraine, they lost their homes. The chances of them ever coming back are, you know, who knows. You can't get your money out of the bank. He's saying that his credit cards don't work. And um, I'm not giving financial advice, but uh, if you don't think it could happen to you in whoever's watching, if you're not in the United States or in the United States, you don't think if the governments can shut down sanctions of money to other countries or to other people and think it can't happen to you, I highly suggest you don't leave large amounts of money in the bank. I've every time doing this video say, hey, I've had a few people complain, which I have to laugh. And they're like, you're showing this free $25 with crypto.com using my promo link, which obviously I get $25, but you're getting free $25 when you invest $150 in there. And uh, some of those people, if you watched from like eight months ago when I was saying this, uh, crypto CRO or Crow, Cronus, uh, is their exchange coin for crypto.com. You would have gone, you would have had an investment go up by like, I think it was 800%. So just think of $25 eight months ago and it goes up by, I think it's 800% or something. I did a video talk, but whatever, it went up a lot. Could have been thanking me and saying, hey, thank you, Beowulf. So basically what I'm getting at is there's a lot of stuff you should be getting your, start planning is basically, I figure out what you're doing with investing. Now I'm not giving financial advice, but you know, if you aren't really familiar with what cryptocurrency you should be investing in, you have USDC, it's a stable coin, it's equivalent to the US dollar. You can stake it. Um, I do one-on-one -on -one advice on investing with cryptocurrency. Uh, you could DM me on Instagram with it. I charge $100 an hour. So I don't, <laughs> I know a lot, but I'm not, to be honest, I'm not giving away stuff for free to give me knowledge, but I'm giving you a, a little, little um, oh, what's that guy, that salt, salt bang, or who's that guy with the steaks and he's like, he goes like dripping the, the, the salt, dripping a little salt to you. Um, with sugar or whatever you wanna, you know, he's doing it. Guy with the cutting of steak and he goes, did it? <laughs> but basically, you you want to get that and figure out what you're doing with it before that can happen here. And seeing with how the oil is gonna be, not just for the United States, globally, the shortage of uh, I think wheat, cooking oils products and you know we put all these sanctions against Russia and uh, so it is other countries but wait to when China says well the, the sanctions we're gonna do to the United States is we're not gonna allow anything to be shipped into your country to meaning the United States where almost all our antibiotics come from China uh, most of every item that's in your home comes from China now just imagine when they say yeah, we're doing that to you and seeing where stuff can turn upside down real fast. We're not even talking Putin threatening anybody who threatens Russia to launch nukes. Now I've seen some people comment or post stuff on Instagram or TikTok. I'm not one to get into people's business, but I see people they post like there's this TikTok where it's like some Navy general. He says, oh, you mess with the United States, your your children will come home kind of thing. Like, you know, this like kind of like big tough. <laughs> when a country threatens to do a nuke, <laughs> nobody's winning. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's over. <laughs> Everything's done. There is nobody going to win a war if that's how things are going to be, which how it's coming off to is being, I saw a thing today that uh, somebody in Russia, I think he was, what was he? He was a... Um, some type of uh, like a scientist or I don't know some head up whatever claims that Putin's whole family is in Siberia in a bunker now if you're hearing that if it's true or not uh, <laughs> I don't know what you should be doing basically but I think what you should be doing is having a game plan uh, you know something happens with a nuke a plan of where you could head uh, I, 
way before this, I already invested. I got a Geiger counter. Uh, it's actually interesting. Uh, bananas give off radiation. And it, actually, a phone gives off radiation, too. And it's very interesting. I took it to the grocery store, and I go buy the, the bananas. And the, the Geiger, Geiger counter starts peeking up. And uh, <laughs> I'll try to be that, like... People are looking at me like, who's this guy going to the grocery store to? You're a beep, 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 beep. It gets louder the closer you get. Uh, and then iodine pills. Uh, there's a HBO Max. Uh, well, I think it was on, well, I saw it on HBO Max, but it was on HBO. There's a reenactment of what happened with Chernobyl. And um, iodine pills are pretty important. And I got that. I actually got iodine pills from my family, my parents. Uh, so we're all set on that. But uh, that's actually on the Amazon store, too. Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. And uh, it's under the uh, survival gear. So uh, I've kind of put a stuff together with that. And I'm... There's a chance that, you know, you might have to leave your home and you can't ever come back. So just start planning a bunch of stuff. Don't go crazy and buy a bunch of stuff. I don't... I'm not telling you to do that. But definitely, if you have a family, think about planning of what you should be doing and... Uh, what if situation because right now if any time you should be planning and being prepared this is now uh, the next couple of weeks I can tell you I don't know what could happen uh, it's it's very alarming what is going on so definitely be prepared with that um, and if you have pets you got to plan Plan with that. I saw a very interesting video. Is you know you had to do that. You had to leave with your pets, and even we had to go to another state. You want to make sure you have your dog's rabies uh, rabies tags on you, a fresh copy uh, of all the shots it has, just in case you need that proof. You go to another state so they don't actually euthanize your pet. Because uh, what a lot is not talked about in Ukraine is all the people who started fleeing Ukraine. They came to the border and a lot of these bordering countries wouldn't allow those people to bring their pets across the border. It's very sad and a lot of stuff isn't covered with that. And, and, and too, I made a TikTok the night of the invasion. I stayed up super late. I was seeing everything. And basically, as soon as daylight hit, as far as you could see, gridlock of everybody trying to flee. And there were a lot of people in Ukraine that didn't think Russia was going to invade. And this is why you should be prepared of a what-if situation. You don't want to be like, woulda, coulda, shoulda. You should have been like, alright, I plan ahead. I'm a former Boy Scout. Being prepared is the whole part of it. When I did the jet ski videos, I had a whole gear bag of like every what-if situation um, being put into that. And definitely, uh, you know, if you have pets... Kids, family, people that you know, have a disability, get ahead and plan out. Because I watch a lot of different stuff of like what people have to say. And I'm one of these people, I'm not, my political beliefs, I'm, I have no political beliefs. beliefs. I'm not from the, this side or that side. Where your head is blinded, where you think it should be this way or the highway. I'm pretty, I'm an open-minded person to see what's in front of me and what is the most intelligent thing to be doing. And uh, that's why I watch a lot of people's videos, you know, maybe they're like survival channels or whatever. They're like, buy gold, buy silver, <laughs> you know, don't buy crypto because they don't know a lot about crypto. <laughs> if you had gold or silver and you went to the store, You'd have to have equipment to detect of the rating of the silver or the gold. How would somebody know that? I don't think it's a smart investment. Uh, you know, cryptocurrency, crypto.com, they have it. When you stake, they got a, de a debit card. And any of the crypto you have, you can use it to purchase stuff. No different than uh, a, a, a debit card you would have with a bank account. But when you use it, you get cash back in crypto. Uh, with crypto.com, the CRO Cronus coin. Another little plug with that. There's, there's just a lot to talk about. This video, I'm basically slamming a whole bunch of stuff in. And, uh, because I don't know, like, the amount of time you have the show would explain all this. And it's just a lot, a lot to be planning out. You know, you got to worry about your money, if you're looking to get food. 
I would highly recommend you get uh, canned food that, you know, ones you wouldn't need to have a can opener because uh, the ones you can just pop right open and eat, that's probably the smartest thing. Uh, I know on my Amazon store, there's uh, MREs, a bunch of different, like different types of food onto there. So if you can't go to there and buy those, they're kind of expensive, but then you go to the store and you can buy the canned food. Uh, also too on there, I have to do this video. I got these real, I think it's a, it's in a box right behind me. These really cool big stackable cube containers that you store water in. I'm not a real big person on having bottled water because I've heard that a lot of stuff when you when you recycle it doesn't get recycled. And the last thing you want is a bunch of plastic bottles in the landfill. Come on. And basically where I'm at, I'm in a hurricane zone. And the smartest thing you do as soon as you know a hurricane's coming, you fill up the bathtubs. And it's not just for the water to drink. It's actually how you flush the toilet. Uh, in case the water stop running, it's, you keep filling it up and you can actually flush your toilet. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a smart thing. But these containers you can fill up with water and they actually have a, a twist on thing where it's a little nozzle where you can have the water dispense out. And they have some stuff adding to have the, a longer shelf life with the water. You know, per, I don't want to say purification, but it's something to make the water stable of it sitting. And when I have, I have actually have dogs, so like that's the whole kind of reason why I had that is if they drink a lot of water, I had to drink a lot of water. And you basically have a giant stackable area of water in a, you know, a disaster situation. That's why I got that, because if you start going, like I know out here, once it starts coming a hurricane, you always want to be like way ahead of everybody and not being late with that. Because basically as soon as people know a hurricane's coming, boom. Water's gone. This is gone. That's gone. And already now, the shelves are sh like a lot of stores I go to now. There's a lot of food that's hard to get. Now, there's a lot of stuff with people with truck drivers um, upset. And uh, if you don't realize that truck drivers don't come, there's nothing at the stores. So there's just a lot. <laughs> I'm talking about a bunch of stuff because there is. A whole bunch of stuff to talk about. It's it's uh, mm, man, I'm telling you, you gotta start planning and getting ready for any situation to happen. And, and uh, the stuff I watch on the news, if you think it's just stopping at Ukraine, I posted a TikTok. I actually think it was in the Poseidon video that I did. Um, this Gotland Island off of Sweden, where Russia occupied that. I think it's still occupied by them um, since January. And there's still photos in this of, of Russian warships. And it's funny because then, you know, just I think a couple days ago, basically, uh, Russia was threatening Finland and Sweden because uh, they don't want them to join NATO. And so if you think it's just stopping at Ukraine, it's most likely not. I think right now, going if it's already happened or once this video's up, they have Russian equipment, tanks and whatnot, 40 miles long. 40 miles. Think how first how long 40 miles is, and it's all that is full of tanks and armored APCs and medical vehicles and. Fuel vehicles and artillery, you know, like just holy cow, 40 miles long. And uh, it's, it's, it's kind of alarming that, you know, you don't know what could happen. And being prepared is a smart thing. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this whole video in just one shot because it's just, it's just a lot to take in. And, and I'll be do, possibly doing a lot more videos reviewing gear and stuff I get. Just to get you guys to, you know, I'm always one of those things is, you know, like I'll buy something without seeing a review that I do my research on, like those water containers. I've been actually meaning about for months to do a video about this and I just haven't any time. And I always forget about it. So now seeing it, it's probably going to be a future video soon. But it's nice seeing stuff and realizing. It's actually real crazy too is this, this really cool um, mask I got on. Uh, this was a really creative designer in Russia that made this and I like this mask a lot 
And I was, I've been meaning to get a couple more and now there aren't allowing any shipments from uh, Russia to the United States. And I messaged them just a couple days ago. I'm like, hey, do you think, you think we can, we can get, because it, it takes a bunch of weeks for the mask to be made. I'm like, you think we could get a couple? And he's like, I don't think you could get it. So, all uh, right, it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of sad. I like my mask. I'm to take good care of it. But also, too, Mira, Mira Safety. I, I think I've done some posts with them, too, uh, with their gas masks and, and filters. They got like a P3 filter, it's a, a virus uh, filter with the gas mask besides it. And actually, some of these gas mask filters are for nuclear related, you know, fall, nuclear fallout and stuff. And anyways, Mira posted on their Instagram a couple days ago that they a lot of their supplies, uh, suppliers that supply what they sell come from Russia. And they said basically they got less than 10 days of supply of all their gear. And they got some really nice stuff. You definitely check out their site. And they don't know when they'll get anything more in. And that's just one product. So when you see that, I think it's time to... Uh, be wise with your money of what you should be buying and getting and what you really need and what you don't need. Um, but it's it's a smart time to plan out of what you should be getting because you don't want to be doing it. The next couple of weeks, I can't tell you two weeks from now what could be happening, but I can tell you right now, gas price is going up and uh, stuff is going to get harder and harder to get. And uh, who knows what could be happening. I, I joked around with my dad. I've been telling my dad for like 15 years. It's like, Dad, we should have a bunker. We should have a bunker. I remember my dad always said to me, going, Beowulf, there's no reason to have a bunker. <laughs> well, look at it now, man. Wouldn't it be nice to have a bunker? <laughs> uh, it's too funny. I, I, when I, had, I had a farm and I had a bunch of shipping containers, my dad goes to me. He goes, well, you should have built that bunker you had when you lived in Illinois. You had the shipping containers. I'm like, yeah, it's actually kind of crazy to talk about shipping containers. I had these shipping containers I used to store hay. I had a dairy goat operation. And uh, these shipping containers were about, like I think between three, three, $3,500 to $6,000. Now this is back five years, five, six years ago, right? These same shipping containers, when I sold the shipping containers, I didn't get the money back that I originally bought from them. They're actually really hard to sell. Now these same shipping containers that were like $3,500, $6,000, cause you know, there's a little extra if they're painted, which the white ones are better to have because it keeps the heat, uh, them not getting as hot than if they're orange and stuff. The same as like the FJ Cruiser Toyota made, it had the white roof. Anyways, uh, I heard they were selling for about thirty to forty-five thousand dollars now. Man, did I, <laughs> did I make a mistake selling them? Right? It's unbelievable. So this is kind of giving you the summary. I might throw a couple clips with stuff going on, but definitely, like I'm saying, check out my Instagram if you want to be knowing what's going on with Ukraine. It's basically becoming a a, a hot spot where I'm showing stuff. I'm not going to be making um. YouTube videos about war stuff on here. It's pre preparing and being being alert and being aware and uh, It's definitely the time to start Keeping an eye on the right news to be looking at and figuring out what you should be doing In a what if let's call it the what if situation. Uh, if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button Existing subscribers hit the bell notification you get notified as soon as the video is uploaded Check out the Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Check out the I am Beowulf merch at beowulfnation.com. And also the free $25 with crypto.com using my promo code. All those links are in the description of my YouTube video. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.